My name's Ian Stewart, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new track lanes and track group features in WaveLab Pro 11. Let's take a look. So track lanes and groups are an exciting new feature in WaveLab 11 that are primarily geared towards stem mastering workflows, but also have some other great use cases that we'll get into a little. Let's start by taking a look at track lanes in a bit of detail. Lane management is available from the right-click menu of the track header. So we can add a lane. If we add some clips to that lane, we can also stagger the clips across two lanes. And actually, we can do that even if we only start with one lane. Uh, one of my favorite uses for this is to stagger clips on a reference track that sends out to my analog loop. And then I can lock in track sequencing and timing right from the start of the session, but then I can mute lanes as needed as I go through my analog capture process. You can also convert lanes to tracks or tracks back to lanes. Um, you can also create lanes simply by importing files onto a track via drag and drop. So the insert audio files dialog allows you to, to reorder the stems or tracks, select between tracks and lanes, designate how you want things laid out, uh, and, and gives you options on how to handle any existing lanes. You can then color individual clips from the clip inspector, which can be really helpful in a stem mastering context for keeping track of different stem types. A few other little odds and ends. Each track can support up to eight lanes. You can load plugins on lane-based clips, just like you can on track-based clips. And then any plugins on the track will apply to the sum of all the stems. You can also use this type of configuration on a reference track to make tweaks to individual stems and then send a stereo sum of all your stems out to your analog chain for traditional two-channel processing. The lane header has its own contextual right-click menu as compared to the track header. So that allows you to select clips on a lane, move selected clips to a new lane, move lanes up and down, and remove a lane. There are also fold, mute, and solo controls that behave the same way as the corresponding controls in a multi-channel file in the audio editor. So command click to fold all but the selected lane, shift click to unfold all lanes, command click for non-exclusive solo, and alt command click for solo defeat. You can control which lane a clip is on via the clip tool window as well, which allows the kind of unique ability to place multiple clips on a single lane. It's also useful to know that even if you have ripple editing turned off, you can use the updated auto grouping panel to move clips together or separately in a variety of ways, depending on your needs. Lastly, a few other interesting ways to use lanes could be for layering sounds in a sound design context. So, you know, if you're, you're putting a whole bunch of sounds together to make a gunshot or an explosion or what have you, you could layer them up there, each get their own processing and then get some group processing on the track to kind of glue them all together. You could also use lanes for take management or QC tracking and comping in a mastering workflow. So. If you do multiple masters of a song, but you decide, oh, I like the verse from master one, I could edit that in um, and kind of comp between two slightly different masters. For example, you could edit both clips so that the section you want to exchange is the same length and then use the right click contextual menu to exchange clips. So now let's switch gears just a little and talk about track groups. Track groups are essentially a busing solution for tracks in the WaveLab montage, and they provide an additional summing stage where you can add effects and adjust pan and gain. You can create a group by selecting the tracks you want in that group, right-clicking in the track header, and selecting Add Selected Tracks to Group. From there, you can create as many groups as needed and assign the tracks that you selected to a chosen group. You can also give groups unique colors and apply them to the track header or also to clips in those groups. You can also open the group editor from a track header right click where you can move tracks between groups, uh, change group names and more. 
There's also a new grouped mute solo button at the top of the track list, which will allow you to mute or solo all tracks in a group together. And of course, the solo modifiers we discussed previously work on groups as well. Groups also have a new section in the inspector where you can add effects and adjust gain and panning. And finally, there are a few new rendering options. You can render just the active track group or all track groups. A useful application here could be having track groups for main versions, instrumental versions, TV versions, etc., where they all share some common montage output processing, but you need the groups not to be mixed together at the output. So those are the new track lanes and groups features in WaveLab Pro 11. If this was helpful, we'd love it if you gave us a like and subscribe. We've also got more videos like this coming, so be sure to hit the bell if you'd like to be notified when new ones are released. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.